2018 Suzuki GSX-S750 First Ride Review. We reject the accumulated knowledge of our forefathers at our own peril, case in point, the 750cc inline 4, the motorcycle that made Japan Japan nearly 50 years ago with the first Honda 750. We liked the GSX S750 a lot when it was new in 2015, but it still lost out to the Yamaha FZ09 in this comparison, due to various cost-cutting measures and a certain lack of refinement. Its screaming meme of a high revving power plant was a big hit, though, and the rightness and lightness of the overall compact package was there from the beginning. For 2018, Suzuki has done right by the GSX-S, seriously upgrading something like 75% of its components, enough for them to claim it's an entirely new motorcycle. Well, that, steel, frame looks the same as before, but there's a cool new also steel swing arm. And while we're still using the same 2005 GSX R750 engine cases, there's enough new going on for Suzuki to claim 8 more horsepower up top, 112.6 at 10,500 revolutions per minute. The claim for the previous version was 104.6, which worked out to 96.1 rear wheel HP at 10,300 revolutions per minute on the MotoGP Works Dyno. Part of that increased power is due to reduced pumping losses thanks to big new pentagonal holes in the cylinder block, but most of it must be down to all new ECU programming along with a new, freer flowing exhaust, this one runs, from idle to redline, much nicer than the previous bike did, and there really wasn't much to complain about with the old one. Suzuki says the new exhaust boosts slow and mid-range power, it does, while new 10-hole fuel injectors provide better atomization for increased combustion efficiency. Basically, from smooth burbly quiet idle to screaming redline, this engine runs like a real stat and never seems to miss a beat. There's also a bigger airbox, tuned to provide enhanced auditory enjoyment of the four-cylinder Symphony Suzuki claims as its heritage, the 180 crank version in particular, which needs no stinking balancers or weird crankshafts to add weight and dilute the experience. Finally, final drive gearing is a bit shorter, to let you get into the upper registers that much quicker. Lane splitting home through LA traffic after a day in the mountains. It really was nice to note that the little screamer is also perfectly happy to put along the low 2000 revolutions per minute and 30 miles per hour in 6th gear.